Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Truth be told, I don't even know what day it is, right? How is this long weekend going for you? I hope you are relaxing. I hope you are getting good rest. I hope you are trying new foods. I've got a great story to start this with. So, um, we've talked about um, all kinds of different, all kinds of different things over the last 28 days. And sometimes we've talked about, well, how, how do you overcome cravings? And how do you overcome little, um, you know, they're like, ah, oh, but I deserve it. What do you do when you feel really stressed, right? Are there ways for you to kind of reach for something healthier, um, to do something healthier? And it's so funny because today was one of those days for me where I just knew I needed to get out into nature, right? It needed to be more than the walk that I did this morning with my dog. And so I went um, on a, a run, and um, but this one was a run with a twist. So this is where I've got a trainer in my ear, and she is telling me what to do. And she was trying to kill me, I think. Um, she wanted me to run and sprint and do lunges, um, I don't know who this woman was. She's from down under. She's a great trainer and she was in my ear. And so I finished it, sort of, right? I turns out lunges, um, I couldn't do as many lunges as she wanted me to do. But, um, but now I've got a metric, right? Now I've got something that I can measure myself against, right? It's that linear progression we're talking about. It's like moving forward, getting a little bit further than you did before. Right, so now I've got the thing I'm gonna measure. Can I finish the next time I do that workout with her? Can I finish all of the lunges? We'll see, I'll let you know, right? But as a result of that, who feels like she needs the reward? This girl, right? So one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach for a healthier snack. I'm gonna reach for something that's not just um, off um, my normal eating program but does in fact feel like a treat to me and so it's this bag of cookies that are meant I love snickerdoodles it's meant to be a healthy snickerdoodle I've never had one of these things before but this was my day this was I was gonna try it right so I have one of these and they're really tiny they also don't let you have very many right so it's this tiny little cookie and I eat I bite into it and I was like this is ridiculous this is this is not good. This is this is why people want cookies, right? This is why people go, I'm not gonna eat healthy, right? Because this thing didn't taste good, <laughs> right? So um, I try to decide what am I gonna do because I'm still in that state of mind, right? So I told you that I like to be creative. So I took the bag of all of these little cookies and I mashed them up and I just remade flour out of them is roughly what I did. I added an egg, I added very little butter, and I added a little bit of coconut sugar. And I made them all back up again, and I made them into um, a hot oily mess. And um, so then I had to add a little bit of coconut flour, but not very much. You know, if you ever cook with coconut flour, you don't need very much. And I just reconstituted these cookies. I baked them again. They're absolutely delicious, right? So I didn't need that in my life. I wanted deliciousness in my life. So I actually just remade cookies today. So I encourage you to be creative. I encourage you to personalize something for yourself. It wasn't suiting my needs, right? But I still wanted to stay within the boundaries. I wanted to stay within what I would consider healthy, right? My healthy treat, um, but something that was made just for me. And that's exactly what I want to talk to you guys about tonight. I want to talk to you about um, not getting creative with a new recipe, but getting creative with what's right for you in supplementation. And what always comes out of this conversation, when I talk about personalization, when I talk about customization, people say, come on, can you really make a supplement regimen just for me? Well, there's a couple things we should talk about. First, the answer is yes. There are a lot of different things that help us personalize 
nutrition for someone. Um, family history helps us do that. What are your health goals? Helps us do that. What are your activity today? And where do you want your activity to be? These are all personalization factors, right? Too often people think that customization or uh, personalization is something that requires some big algorithm and it requires a blood test or something like that. When it can, don't get me wrong, we can look at red blood cell analysis. That's a possibility. We can look at nutrigenomic analyses. We can look at your genes and see if there are certain nutrients that you lack or that you have poor enzyme function, and we can do that. There is, in fact, an algorithm that can help you prioritize and ultimately customize your supplementation, but it doesn't require that. And this is how we get to this idea of personalization. What are your health goals? What are you looking to achieve, right? And that helps us, one, prioritize what we're going to do first. Now, we've talked over the last 27 days about the importance of getting a good night's sleep, managing our stress, fitness wears the pants in the family when it comes to metabolic aging, right? So we're going to put each one of those into our um, recipe bowl for what is right for you, right? If you are currently someone that says, but I don't sleep well, then part of your personalization is going to be something that can help you sleep well, right? But also something that's going to work throughout the body. So it's not just going to be a sleep aid. It's got to be something that will create health around the environment, the metabolism that would allow you to sleep. Let me clarify what I'm saying. Of course you can take a botanical, right, that helps knock you out at night, that can help you get a good night's sleep. But that is not helping you deal with the reason why you don't sleep, right? What that botanical is helping you do, what that full spectrum hemp oil is helping you do, is deal with the collateral environment that's preventing you from sleeping. Elevated blood sugars, right? Too much stress going on. There's just too much going on. Um, too much blue light or digital devices in your day. That is the environment. And those are things that we need to tweak outside of supplementation, right? Um, so taking a full spectrum hemp oil for sleep is effective, but it doesn't get to the root cause. It doesn't deal with why you don't sleep. And so the first approach to personalizing nutrition, personalizing supplementation for someone, is to make sure that you focus on nutrients that can do a lot of things in the body. So what is my first recommendation for personalizing nutrition for you? It's magnesium. Magnesium is responsible for a large number of enzymatic and metabolic switches in the body. It's responsible for turning things on and turning things off. It plays an enormous role in your ability to keep your blood sugars within healthy ranges, to keep your emotions within healthy ranges, to keep your sleep hormones within healthy ranges, to keep your bones healthy. Um, um, uh, magnesium is a cofactor to energy production. It is necessary for detoxification enzymes to function the way that they are supposed to. It is necessary for red blood cells to behave the way they are supposed to. So magnesium is one of those, we can lay it out and it's going to help us with so many things. So it falls into the list of universals right? So it can be magnesium rich foods. It can be magnesium supplementation. What we're talking about here tonight is the, the, the need of personalizing your supplements, customizing them to your lifestyle so that you can build the life that you design, right? The idea behind um, creating this is to focus on building a sound foundation and then the tweaks, the things like full spectrum hemp oil or an adaptogen botanical like L-theanine, these come in later and they put the cherry on top, right? But underneath 
there's a lot of other work that goes into it. And so we're going to focus on minerals as one of the big players in personalizing nutrition, right? Then we're going to look at things like a complex of B vitamins. They, like magnesium, are essential. Your body cannot make them. You need to take them. And they are responsible not just for white blood cell and red blood cell activity, bone mineral density, but also the literal production of energy, the um, utilization of fat, carbohydrates, and protein for energy. B vitamins need to be on board for that. You have batteries inside each and every one of your cells called mitochondria. B vitamins, in particular B3, plays a big role in the mitochondria being able to do the work that they are supposed to do, right? So B vitamins need to be a part of your personalized approach. And then we're going to look at things like vitamin D. Vitamin D, every cell in your body has a vitamin D receptor on it, meaning that vitamin D is going to play a critical role in the performance of each and every one of your cells, including cells as you're aging to ensure healthy aging, healthy longevity, right? Quite frankly, when you look at the literature on vitamin D, we have to ask, is there anything this pre-hormone cannot do? And it's important to note that it is, in fact, a pro-hormone. It is a precursor to hormone synthesis, to steroid synthesis. So it is a major player in your aging process, your ability to age well, to keep hormones within healthy ranges, whether what you call a hormone is the mother of all hormones, cholesterol, or what you're thinking of, what pops into your head, when it comes to hormones is sex hormones, right? The idea here is that these universals fit in so many areas of health that they will create the sound foundation no matter what your health goal. What else would be another, um, I almost like almost said it, what would be another universal? Another universal would be an omega-3 fatty acid. Now there's something that's worth paying attention to here. Omega-3 fatty acids, just like that magnesium, just like the complex of B vitamins, your body cannot make EPA and DHA. Um, you have to take them, whether you're getting them through fish, right? Whether you're getting it through supplementation. Now I should walk back just in case there's anyone doing fact checking on me. DHA is considered a conditionally essential omega, um, uh, a fatty acid, meaning that the body after time can create it. Not a facsimile of it, actually can create DHA. It takes about 18 months, right? So who's got time for that? No one's got time for that. So the idea here is to make sure that you've got that sound foundation. So what is um, what makes that personal? Because all I've done is say, Everybody that's hearing this needs to make sure that they're doing those things, right? So you have to ask, well, what's personal about that? What's personal about it is why you take it and how much you take it. And sometimes, but only sometimes when you take it, okay? So, so what we're looking at here is, like I said about vitamin D, some people use vitamin D for healthy blood lipids. Some people will use vitamin D for healthy reproductive hormones. That's where the personalization comes in, is to understand that there's a sound foundation, right? But we're going to tweak a certain area of health. I call these my pillars. These pillars of health, GI health, cardiovascular health, mental and cognitive function, or we could call that cognitive function and stamina right? Blood sugar, endocrine response, muscular health and fitness, including bone mineral density and joint function. These are pillars of health where now we're going to get a little more focused on what it is you want to create. Do you want to create an environment that allows you to stay physically fit? Well, then you're going to need protein. You're going to need endurance antioxidants like astaxanthin. You're going to need to focus on um, central nervous system recovery. So you're going to need amino acids. Whether that comes in the form of a peak performance with amino acids, it comes in the form of turn up with amino acids, or it comes in the form of um, focusing on a protein 
powder, again, with um, building blocks for muscle, right? Regardless, right, that's how we've honed into what does joint health, physical fitness, and endurance mean to you. You have that sound foundation, and then we start to tweak things from there. Now, let's just pick a joint support formula as an example. You can take it for muscular performance, joint performance, and to keep going. Some people will take it because they've stopped going, right? Meaning, or they've stopped doing, right? So now they need a joint support formula from a repair side of things. So we can take one supplement right? Or one formula and we can customize it so that it makes sense for this person and it makes sense for this person. And what we do is we just keep drilling down on quality of health issues, more energy, a better night's sleep, less joint discomfort, right? Um, um, Healthier uh, looking skin, um, improving body composition. We just keep drilling down into what's important, right? Protein may do all of those things for people, but what we focus on is the why behind people taking them so that we can create not a list of you should take everything, but now that I know why you want or what you want out of health, we can start to walk this down one path or another and create a personalized approach. This answers the question of, am I taking too many supplements? Not if we go through some questions together to identify what your goals are, then we don't have to worry about the overlaps. We're going to ensure that we don't have overlaps where you're doing too much. This answers the question for you, am I going to see results? You've often heard me say that the more complex the situation, the more simple your approach should be, right? So one of the reasons why I say that is we do want to know what's working. We want you to spend your healthcare dollars responsibly. So we want to know that you're spending them where they make the most sense for you. That's again, why we want to focus on the universals. Because when we focus on those, the magnesium, the B vitamins, the vitamin D, the omegas, what they're doing is covering a lot of bases. So we can it be ins- we can ensure that people are spending healthcare dollars in a responsible, meaningful way because while they may be taking magnesium for sleep and to support healthy um, perception of emotions, stressors in their life, they're also going to get the added benefits of blood sugar health right? Or gastrointestinal barrier function. They're going to get some of those benefits that just come along with magnesium. It's one of the side benefits. That's one of the magical parts um, of looking at health and nutrition from this perspective is too often when we think about something that we want to change, we ask if there are side effects to a medication. And one of the benefits to looking at nutrition and personalized supplementation this way is that we get to ask how many side benefits there are, right? So that's the magical part of this personalization is that we can, through clarifying questions, make sure that you get exactly what you need. Now, are there high-tech ways to do this? Absolutely. If anything I've said sounds like, well, sure, you've been doing this for a while, or how do I know what questions to ask, right? Um, There's ways to do that. something called the Nutrophysical. The Nutrophysical is an online algorithm that asks you questions about my eight pillars of health, asks you about sexual health and libido, asks you about stamina and brain aging, asks you about joint health, muscular health, weight loss and fitness, right? Talks about digestive health, sleep and stress. It goes through eight pillars of health and helps you create your choose your own adventure to make sure that you are following along and getting supplement recommendations that are appropriate for you, right? Based on the way that you answer questions. In fact, I'm so excited because the Nutrophysical going live with this new robust algorithm on the 15th of December 
right, is going to allow people to really get started with their health goals. I know we have really crushed it in the last 28 days together. And many of you took a new challenge with me two days ago that by February 18th, um, three months from um, uh, two days ago, we decided together that we were going to take on a new challenge. Now that could be a health challenge. It could be a wealth challenge, right? For me, it was a fitness challenge. And some of you shared with me in the comments that you also have fitness or mus muscle uh, gain um, um, goals, that you have weight loss goals, right? That you have sleep goals. Those were some of the real special ones, right? Because we've learned through the last 28 days that sleep performance and muscular or fitness performance are absolutely necessary for longevity and metabolic performance. So I want you guys on the 15th of December to check out the Nutraphysical. I want you to check out and take the Nutraphysical yourself. I want you to go through the eight pillars or if it makes sense for you to just go through one of the pillars. One of the nice things about customizing or personalizing supplementation um, is making sure that you're getting something that fits with your lifestyle. So some new tools that are going to be a part of the Nutraphysical, in fact, are going to be allowing you to take a get to know you quiz. From there, it will move on to any of the eight pillars that you want to prioritize. You can stop there or keep going. No matter how many quizzes you take, at the end of the quiz, you can say, get my results, and it will help you figure out what you should be taking based on the way you answered the questions and how many quizzes you took. Nutraphysical gets to know you better the more quizzes you take. And so it can continue to focus in on the supplements that you need and the lifestyle suggestions that are gonna help you reach your goals. And that's probably one of the things I'm most excited about with Nutraphysical is that it's not just about recommending supplementation, but also being able to help you understand why supplements are recommended and some lifestyle choices that can help you achieve your goals. Personalization is within your grasp. You just need to know what it is that you want to achieve. Be willing to commit to the basics. From there, anything else you want to tweak, amplify, or optimize is within your grasp. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Until then, go be healthy, go be brilliant.